Hey guys, LP here. And uh, yeah, part do, part do. All right, so if you didn't know, I uh, sat down with a, uh, a, uh, a, a, a socialist uh, over an hour and a half or last Friday. This is uh, part two, so you don't have to watch like forever and forever. Uh, and uh, it was a very interesting thing. In this particular episode, we talked a lot about what he would call grifting. It's the word the young folk like to use that actually originated, I think, in the 1920s. So go figure that one out. All right, so we're going to talk about grifting. We're going to talk about prepper fear porn and uh, how no one's trying to steal. No one's trying to steal grandma's 401k. All right, guys. Mm. As usual, this video is brought to you by PrepStock, PrepStock.net, Nebo, North Carolina, October 12th through the 14th, actually 12th and the 13th. Um, guys, check that out. There's a link in the description. If you want to help with uh, like coffee and tea, cups, things like that, there's an Amazon affiliate there. That's right, Carter. There's an Amazon affiliate link there. It's not mine, uh, but uh, it's to, uh, to help pay for all the little things uh, for the people who show up. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm going to stick this in every one of the videos. Just got back from filming the intros. Watch the chat. Watch the chat that's on the screen. It's absolutely hilarious. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think, I don't disagree, right? There is a generational uh, idea, but there's always been like, I guess you would call people like me, right? That think like we should rely on each other and not worry about this, not prey on younger, you know, or not younger, but unprepared or undereducated yeah. people. And I know you say it's rare and they're the fringe, but I found the opposite, right? I found that anybody with any substantial falling ends up falling yeah. into like uh, this preying on someone's fear because our news stokes it, you know, the parties stoke it, whoever. They're building this fire up of fear and they're using that to be like, well, listen, I know you're scared, but I have this and you can buy this right now from me. Yeah. So they have an incentive to one lie and keep scaring you and not give you a, mm -hmm. a full picture of, you know, uh, of the reality that like, listen, disasters happen all the time. The number one thing you can do is like have a communal garden or, you know, have medicine mm -hmm. stored or have food stored. You don't need to store, you know, three ARs, you know, gold, silver or whatever, you know, but you're, you're all this <laughs> body armor, right? Wrangler star. You don't yeah. need to have your EDC of three different handguns for going to Portland. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm tr I'm tracking with you, man. I, I understand what you're saying, uh, and I understand your uh, your your perspective. Uh -huh. Okay, but uh, what what you have to understand about uh, preppers in general, okay? Mm -hmm. There's been there's there's been studies, okay, mm -hmm. uh, that show that the basic idea behind people behind preppers in their minds, yeah, yeah, there is a fear. Okay, mm -hmm. this is documented. There is a fear of not being prepared for things that could happen and it's not about like the end of the world it's about hey i live in hurricane alley i yeah. need to store water because i live in the country and when the power goes out then that, that means i don't have a well anymore i yep. can't flush my yeah toilet. of course i think that's all justified yeah yeah exactly exactly and and to to your point i have seen guys do that and most of the time it's it's the younger guys now here's we we might as well pull canadian prepper out and just beat him with a stick <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. He is. I stopped. Well, I don't watch. I don't even watch uh, uh, preppers on YouTube anymore. I mean, there's a couple that I watch because they're uh, they're entertaining. You know I think Wrangler saying? Star is the most entertaining person. All right. As much as I don't <laughs> think he's like the best he person, is, but I'm going to tell you some things about Wrangler Star that will blow your mind. Okay? I've the, his hate community is almost as funny as his community. Like they're. <laughs> I know, but see, that's just it. I don't hate him. Yeah. Okay. I don't hate him. I think he makes very, very entertaining. I love the Tannerite stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I love the stuff that he, he comes up with some ingenious stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, what? And I, yeah. I mean, I know how to make some crazy stuff, but even the stuff that he comes up with is absolutely amazing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But unfortunately, so, so let's, let's get down, let, let's get to brass tacks and we can talk about anything you want to talk about. Yeah. Okay. We, here's, here's, here's what I'm going to ask you to wrap your head around. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to ask your community to do as well. Cause I know they're listening to me. This term grifter. Uh -huh. Okay. I think, I think you need to lose it. I think that, I think that, uh, it, you know, it's, um, it, it's, it's not about the con it's about obtaining things illegally. Okay. Okay. 
And there are people out there that if you just have any common sense whatsoever, you can be like, swipe left. I'm done with this guy. He's stupid. He's he is trying to con me. Okay. You know what I'm saying. So I would say the people of your generation need to lose lose that term. Okay. okay. And, and and we'll make it an even trade. I'll let you call me boomer boomer like five times. <laughs> okay. Even though I'm not a baby boomer, I'm too young to be a baby boomer. <laughs> but, I, but I know, I know okay. what it means. I believe it or not, I've got kids older than you are. Okay. Okay. I got six of them. I have 15 grandchildren. Okay. All right. So I completely understand the whole generational thing and mm -hmm. it doesn't bother me whatsoever. Okay. The next thing I'll tell you is, is that don't believe when, when you see something on YouTube that is like prepper related, uh -huh. dig into it before you start to believe anything that person says. All right. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's funny because, you know, it makes me like the whole grifter thing. Right. Okay. So, let me show you this. Let me show you the ultimate grifter on, on YouTube. Okay. okay. His name is Wrangle Star. Uh huh. Okay. And if you go and he doesn't put it in any of his links. Yeah. Okay. But if you go to his about page, he has something called Wrangle Mart. Wranglemart.com. Yep. He's actually bought the IP for his own website to divert you to guess where? Where do you think he diverts you to? Probably Amazon. Amazon. Yep. Hold on, like this. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, you know, what's funny. Yeah, you say you know that. What I'm saying. I cut a big part of my video because Wrangler Star is the first person I ever noticed it. Yeah. Well, here's 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 the funny thing too, because and then then if you go into like the the real details of it, okay, and and not to get too geeky or anything like no, that. No, okay. But it's uh. So if you go to it, there, there's something called um. What is the name of that um? And I've got it. I've actually got it pulled up here, but I can't. Re I didn't write down the damn name of it. Uh, it's where it analyzes YouTube channels. Okay. Uh -huh. If you go to, if you go to, to oh, man, I wish, really wish I'd written this down. Social but, Blade. Uh, yeah, Social Blade. And you look up Wrangle. This guy, this guy's rated. His estimated yearly uh, earnings are somewhere, and it's very subjective. Yeah, those are terrible. Based off yeah. The, the analytics stuff like that, right? Yeah. His annual estimated income is thirty-one thousand to five hundred and ten thousand dollars. Uh huh. Okay. If you look at his monthly income, anywhere from 2.5, 2.7K to 42.5K. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking really quick. He never puts a single thing. He never puts a th single thing in his videos about an Amazon link. So he gets. Now that is. He is as hell, man. So he's getting, he's getting like 2 million views a month. Yeah, he's probably making like 200K a, a year. Like he's probably, he's probably. Now making here's about the funny two. thing. Yeah. Here, here's the funny thing. If you do the same, if you apply the same methodology to Canadian Prepper. He's only estimated to make anywhere from seventeen to two hundred eighty-six thousand dollars a year. He's only estimated to bring one point five to two point, or I'm sorry, to twenty-three point eight thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. per month. Okay, he doesn't have a single Amazon link, and you know why? Canadian Prepper does, but it's hidden. No, because Canadian Prepper is the largest preparedness company in Canada. Yeah, no, no, he's yeah, that's what. I, he's he doing. He's doing essentially business. what Amazon is doing through his own website. That's what I found out because I did a bunch of digging. Right, yeah. he'll buy in bulk yeah. and then just ship it from his own warehouse. He's drop shipping. Exactly. He's drop shipping. Yeah, it's called a business. Yeah, it's called a business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's he's running a he's so, running a uh, a business where he's profiting off of like telling you today's World War Three, right? I, I, I'm not a fan of Canadian. All right. Yeah, yeah. The reason I'm not is because I've been, I followed him for years and about a year ago, I just got tired of World War three update. You yeah. know, it's like, how long are we going to be? I've actually been in war. I don't need you. You he's, he's got a background in psychology. I don't yeah. think he ever actually actually practiced, but uh, it's like how, and he's, he's always been trying to use that to, to manipulate his viewers. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's the business model. And uh, so it's just like, man, come on, quit telling me the world's going to end. Yeah, and that's you know, if okay. It's gonna so end, it's going to end. Exactly. What you've described to me would be a grifter, right? A grifter. And I think it serves a purpose, right? I do agree that way too many people use the word without understanding, right? They think a grifter is anybody who does anything that doesn't align with them. But a, a real grifter is somebody who is enriching themselves off of a falsehood, yeah. right? Yeah. Something that is illegitimate. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. An, an illegitimate thing, which what he is doing is illegitimate, right? He is pushing fear the same way. I Like, the only thing I'll say about Wrangler Star is after having checked all these, like, big YouTuber preppers out, he's, like, the least one to tell you World War Three is coming tomorrow. He instead will, like, 
just tell you like i don't know portland's burning down or some shit he's funny i like, think you like him because he's 100 percent anti-government yeah but I, I kind of i also i grew up in a similar area i grew up in north idaho like right by him mm -hmm. so a lot of the things he does yeah. is very reminiscent of like the way i grew up. like i grew up, like you talk about you know days yeah. without power like we would get blizzards and lose i remember thanksgiving like no power for eight days right that's another yeah. big reason I have a gripe with preppers is like they're selling me shit that I've never seen in my life. And I grew up like in a place 20 miles yeah, from a can, grocery you, store. <laughs> yeah, there, there are certain situations where you can't survive on nothing, you know, and, and to your point, these these countries that, uh, you know, the earthquake destroys, kills thousands of people and, and they just get up and restart rebuilding. You know, what yeah. you have to remember is that uh, in Western society, that's not what happens. These people still live in village mentality. Well, I mean, Japan okay, all doesn't. The, all the places that you listed off, no, Japan, Japan still lives in villages. It may have the largest city on the planet, but not everybody lives there. You yeah, know no, no, yeah. It's it was in Fukushima, though. Surrounded by villages. Yeah, but I, I just mean, okay, but like we even Turkey, right? Where when the big, uh, when the big earthquake hit Turkey, that hit like I've been to Turkey. I've been to that place, right? That's a city. Like that's yeah. a that's just a city. It, it is, and they all came from where? The villages. Yeah, I, yeah, but I also think in America we have a lot of communal mentality. The problem is like we're very, very polarized currently. I think for, I mean, as selfish, huh? We're yeah, we're selfish. We're we're manifest selfish. destiny. You know, uh, the founding of our country. I don't know what your political leanings are, but the founding of our country is very libertarian, right? The idea of I got mine. I'm gonna go out, live on my homestead, and it's gonna be my property. No one can do whatever, right? Correct. And if somebody yeah. comes, I'm going to I'm going to shoot them on my property, which is a very unique thing in the world, because normal I, like that's the reason we have so many Band-Aids on our system to prevent collapse. Right. We have to have like a large yeah. military or anything true. is because that mentality that will break you apart. Like you have to have some set humans, like I said, built mm -hmm. society together, built civilization together. We'll work together. Otherwise, we don't exist. That's like always what pushed us forward, you know, and yeah. um, the that's that's my point. Right. It's like. The individualism, that idea, I think preppers prey on that a lot. Not you, obviously, if you do, if you are aware of it, I don't think you do. The only thing I saw is like you have a store and stuff, which is like, fine. Listen, I already said in my video, I think it's fine to have an affiliate link. As long as your idea isn't like you have to like, listen, the world's ending, but I have the thing for you, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. That, that, that's called fear porn. That's, so, that's something yeah. most preppers hate at fear porn. They'll, they'll tune out. They'll tune out to anybody who talks like that. If, uh -huh. if they're if they're real people, if they're just if they just want to be left alone, if they have the don't tread on me mentality, you know, um, they, they love community. They would love to have a community of preppers. They would have love that. You know, I have conversations all the time about like, hey, I went and talked to my neighbor the other day and this guy is just nuts. You yeah. know, all, all he does is is freaking eat. Uh, uh, and you're going to hate this, but eat DoorDash and watch TV and play video games. That's yeah. all he does. That's, hey, like, I'm a Twitch streamer. Not sure. I don't even think he works. <laughs> you know, but when you go talk to him about like his kids or you know what I'm saying, he's not interested in community. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? And and I think that's something that we should actually work. Uh, uh, we should work harder on. I think we should work harder on. Yeah, I I think you know like especially with um, with this like the these ideas. My like I said, the biggest issue is once again like people pushing like the fact that like your neighbors are gonna come looting you or it's someone in your block. But the reality yeah. is they probably won't, right? Unless, yeah. but I think it's a self-report, right? I think it's yeah. a big, like, you know, like a big, um, a big, uh, you know, this is what I'm going to do. Like they're blowing the whistle on themselves. Yeah. Like, I think a lot of these dudes, yeah. the max is especially guilty of this. Cause I've seen him do it as well. Talk yeah. about this, but they're like, oh, people are going to come and steal your stuff, your food, your whatever. You got to be prepared. It's like, man, you're the only one really saying this. Like, I'm scared of you. You're not somebody who's like, hey, let's build up. You know, yeah. the first thing I should do if I move into a new neighborhood is become friends with all my neighbors. Even if I disagree with them politically, even if I disagree with whatever, uh, I should try and become friends with them. Unless they're like, you know, a Nazi or whatever. Like, I should try and become friends with them. And, yeah. and that's going to be the biggest tool if something strikes my town, right? Or my, my hemisphere, whatever. You know, if a meteor hits, yeah. like, the best thing I'm going to do is be able to group up with my neighbors and be like, hey, guys, we got to, like, farm. You know? So I, I, just I gotcha. think there's a there's yeah, a lot and, of and don't tread on me is bad. Yeah, there there's there's a lot of positivity to that, but you know, um, there there are there are places in the world here in the United States where that's exactly the opposite of what will happen, and that that's not a joke. That's not me speculating. Uh -huh. Okay, um, there are places where when things go bad, the first thing that happens is the looting, 
Uh, and then there's somebody who tries to stop somebody from looting. And then there's the violence. Yeah, we, we've seen that. We've seen this several times. So I, w- I would like it to be the way that, you know, uh, that that uh, that you're visualizing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we also have to remember that people have to be prepared for those things. Now, do I need a bag full of guns for that? No, I do not. Yeah, <laughs> I probably just need I just probably just need to open carry a sidearm and it's enough for people to go. You better bring a gun and then people will start to realize that they shouldn't do that around here and they'll go elsewhere. And if we push those people elsewhere enough, they'll, they might stop doing it. OK, you know? I think another solution There's instead of we said for that, but isn't a solution instead of building enemies to just maybe help them, educate them, make it so that those people are less likely, right? Material conditions. Oh yeah, no, no, no. See, you, you're mixing up. You're missing. You're mixing. You're, or you're mixing up the process. Okay. Yeah, no, no. I'm saying the so process should be friends, to educate them. Yeah, making friends is great until somebody shows up on your doorstep saying, "Hey, I'm coming in." 